All right, guys, we are at the Bugatti booth right here in Pebble Beach, Monterey, at the Concourse d'Elegance. It is the opening day. It is our wedding day to see all of these crazy, crazy cars, and this is Bugatti's booth. Now, there's a very special car at the end that we're not going to talk about just yet, but we're going to start with the whole lineage which they put out here to show us, well, how we've gotten to that point over there, mysteriously covered by a crowd of people. Now, this is the Type 35C. This is kind of the origin of Bugatti to a certain extent in Bugatti Blue, and it's just kind of crazy to see something, well, this archaic looking compared to something like this, which really represented, when it came out, the fastest car in the world, something, well, the most technologically advanced. Now, this would have usually been placed right over there, right in front of, well, the Bugatti Veyron. The reason why this EB110 Supersport is here, by Supersport meaning the faster variant of the EB110, an incredibly rare variant already, it's because this really is supposed to hearken to this. This is supposed to celebrate, well, this EB110 Supersport. And notice this little design feature right here. You're gonna see it in just a second. But we actually saw this driving on the road. It's a quad turbocharged V12. You know, we always think about how crazy it is those Veyrons and Chirons have quad turbo 16 cylinders, but back then this 12 cylinder actually had quad turbos, which is kind of insane. So you have these unique wheels, you have this, uh, uh, design language right here on the upper haunch. All right, so next in the line is the Bugatti Veyron Super Sport. Now this was the first Super Sport to come out of the Veyron with this spec, the carbon fiber in orange. It's my absolute favorite, and they made one for each continent. Now this was obviously kind of the craziest, fastest thing when it came out, but then something else came out afterward. All right, so next in line was the Bugatti Chiron. And the interesting thing is now you're starting to see some of the lineage coming through. So obviously you've always had the horseshoe shaped grill from the original one, but you have a lot of the accents and design language from the Bugatti Veyron. But one thing they added, which I really loved obviously, was that little haunch that curved around the door here. All right, so next is the Devo. Now this was debuted at the Concourse d'Elegance last year, which I missed because my appendix slightly died, as you guys may or may not have heard of. And this is basically just a pumped up version of the Chiron. The crazy thing is it still looks incredibly conceptual. It's weird to actually see it in front of me. I feel like I'm looking at a sketch right now. All right, next is the Centodici, which is by no means how you probably say it, uh, but it's just absolutely insane. So you have the typical Chiron incredibly long brake light, but it's been broken up by these crazy LEDs, the weird quad exhaust system as well, some outrageous wheels, incredibly conceptual looking as well. And then you obviously have these, which I was telling you harkens back to, well, this on the EB110 Super Sport. And basically this is supposed to celebrate 110 years of both well, Bugatti and that EB110 super sport in general. So just think of this as a Chiron super sport conceptual special edition that you can't pronounce the name of. All right, so here's everything you need to know about the new Bugatti Chente Duce. Yeah, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but regardless, even if I did, the Italians would still be pissed off because, well, I'm saying it with an American accent, but essentially it's 110, meaning 110 years of Bugatti, and it's also a nod to the EB110. It basically is based off of a Bugatti Chiron with some over-exaggerated bodywork. Shares that same crazy W16 8 liter engine with 1600 horsepower. They are making 10 of them, but don't worry, they're being sold for 9 million, so you probably couldn't afford it anyway. All right, so that was a bit insane. It's weird and crazy seeing one Bugatti, and let alone, well, the lineage of Bugatti is pretty awesome as well. So, that is the Bugatti booth. Now we have to see what else is at Pebble Beach.